Hey, show you two. It's your way, Kevin, man. We still at it. Late night, man. Let me light my shoe. Film. Is this Drake whole finesse? Finescio? For whatever, like, this whole situation, bro. Drake tweaking. He is it's coming out. He a weirdo. It's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't know what to think. I'm really disappointed in Drake. I really am. Let's get into it. How y'all doing today? And I say it every video, every time I watch her video, she has pretty eyes. And that's a compliment. So, get off my meat. Well, baby, if you are Drake, let me just say this. And this song got nothing to do with Kendrick. Drake was and is and will forever continue to be an idiot. Do you know every investigative reporter in Canada trying to make a name for themselves is digging through their garbage and baby, they are finding bodies. <coughs> Y'all, wow. Drake got 20 shell companies. Okay, fine. Drake got a fake security force set up so mm. he can keep his little thug friends around him thinking being hired legally by him it's going to cover up whatever illegal activity they're doing y'all let's get into this mess because you cannot make this up wow. no. do you know you got all this dumb mess going on what is it brains what? and you started this mess with kendrick you sitting up there talking all street and stuff right y'all this nigga want to start stuff with Kendrick, rap to Kendrick. Bro, you got too many skeletons in your closet, nigga, <laughs> to even say anything. That's like, that's like somebody making, y'all in the group, somebody making fun at you. And then the nigga that got so much to make fun of him and talk smack to him about, he laughing hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, dude, you know I'm finna get on you. <laughs> you feel me? Why is Drake... Not acting like he not that nigga. Weird. Listen, listen. That nigga thought he was untouchable. Man. There's so, one. Okay, where do we want to start at? We, you know what? He felt listen like the six guy. He thought he was first. his guy. Listen to this report. It's only like 60 seconds long. Then meet me after the jump so we can spill the rest of the tea. I can't take this. One of the shell companies is made silent policy. What in the world? Watch this whole video. I'll see y'all after the jump. More about the security firm operating here outside the house. Have a look at that vehicle. Jungle Lion Security presents itself as Canada's number one provider wow. of security services. But no one answered our repeated calls and the firm Dang. doesn't appear to have a website. Wow. We obtained Ontario Transportation Ministry records showing the license plate on the company's vehicle is registered to Aubrey D. Graham, better known as Drake. <laughs> And the only person listed in the security Yo. firm's public profile is the man seen next to Drake in this video, his reported head of security, known to fans as Chubbs. People that are in the rapper world, Yo. they are the most uh, highest threat level of any any people in the in entertainment industry. Leather glove, no secret. In a music video four years ago, Drake man. showed off the lavish interior of his Toronto mansion. That nigga makes some hits, address. bro. That nigga makes some good music, bro. This, that, that's why this is a love-hate relationship, bro. I'm, I'm not a Drake fan to the point that's all I listen to or that's my go-to type of music. But when that nigga come on, bro, it's a vibe, man. And he want to be a weirdo. Like, bro, I don't want that weirdo energy in my ears. Comment down below. Y'all still gonna listen to Drake? Comment down below. Niggas still listen to R. Kelly. You feel me? Comment down below. Even putting that nickname, the I don't embassy, to R. Kelly, on full display outside. Niggas do. But at a public council meeting in 2019, house. an architecture firm hired by the rap star revealed Drake's security nightmare. Everyone yes. knows where he sleeps, where he eats, and, and that has really freaked him out, us out, and we need heavy security outside. Wow. At that meeting, the city granted Drake permission to build extra tall fencing around his property. And wow. this week, it was just outside that police say a suspect drove up and shot a security guard. He was standing outside mm. of the gates in front of the residence when the shooting occurred. Okay. 
So if you didn't put the dots together, and I know y'all did, but we won't sit here and drag him anyway. When I saw this, I said, wait, so this is how Drake <coughs> keeps all the street guys around him or why he keeps all the street guys around him? He has them all on payroll. So legally, wow. Drake wow. thinks that all the illegal stuff that they potentially do on his behalf can be covered legally because he created a fake security company wow. with Chubbs as the only listed employee. <laughs> so this now makes sense. This, nigga Chubbs. <laughs> this is why security guards wow. are getting shot because they're not really security guards. They're gangland members, allegedly, that Ooh. you keep around you. Because unlike Kendrick that is busy dragging your ass, Taking your ass to the parking lot and what 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 can't what, 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 right? What, what. Unlike Kendrick Lamar, that is busy winning Pulitzer prizes, breaking all streaming records and wow. YouTube records, and also being a loving husband and father. Drake out here really playing cops and robbers. Only they the robbers. Salute to Kendrick, Tell bro. me what you want, Drizzy, back again, baby. Like, hi, nanny. Listen. Again, you're hiring all your friends as security guards, and that's how you think you get away with it? I wonder if these guys are just nine to five security guards, right? <coughs> he literally, in my opinion, Drake Lane, and I think the reporter's saying it too, this is an investigative reporter doing their job, that Drake created his own private police security operation weird, with bro. vehicles that patrol his area. <laughs> Which don't take value, I get it. It's all fine, right. right? Like, you got all that house, again, we were surprised as Americans to know as much ish as Drake talked that he wasn't behind a gate. But, you know, that's fine. But y'all look at this. Drake but when crazy. you add in the context all the weird rumors about him and what goes on inside and what his team is into, yeah, Drake was and is an idiot for inviting this type of spotlight on himself with the Kendrick Lamar stuff. Right. And you and know Kendrick you know you a P. Him, Diddy. Don't go for my family. I ain't gonna lie. Drake like a private P. Diddy. You feel me? P. Diddy, he more public. He wanna invite people. That nigga wanna do uh, you know, freak offs and, 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 and you feel me? With multiple he like to see people. That nigga Drake undercover. I feel like that's how Jay Z is too. People keep talking about Jay Z worse than Diddy. I ain't gonna lie. I don't feel like Drake worse than Diddy, but I feel like he up there though. Like he up there, up there. Like I mean, Drake, bro. I mean, they say he moved. Yeah, he saw all his houses. He about to move to Canada. <laughs> 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 that, nigga, that nigga not playing. Why? And now Drake's whole life is in the gutter. Whole life is in the toilet. He deserves it. Every investigative. You know why? Most importantly, because baby, I do YouTube. Y'all, I don't know what y'all do. Y'all might be investigative reporters, but for real, for real, in Canada right now, every investigative reporter that wants to break a big story is going to comb through his whole life. Wow. Another investigative reporter, if you guys don't know, found out about his 20 shell companies. But it doesn't end there. Mm. All right? One of his shell companies is actually called Silent Policy. Yo, it drinks. Kendrick was not joking when he said that Drake was house was about to be raided. Because if you guys don't know from that video, you saw that the name of Drake's house on the front is called the embassy. And he said the embassy about to get raided. <coughs> Kendrick knew a lot wow. more than he let on. You are literally <coughs> using your operations and your thing as an entertainer. Two, if this reports can be believed, basically run cover. I ain't gonna lie. And y'all and y'all and he say like Lil Yachty his best friend and they best friends. Bruh, that mean Lil Yachty know more Lil Yachty knows Lil Yachty he probably I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He in the investigation too. He do he do I don't know. He's I, I mess with I mess with Yachty. I mess with him. I've been messing with him since twenty what, fifteen? 16 when I first heard him, heard him on SoundCloud, probably 2015. Yeah, facts. Lil, Lil Yachty, Famous Dex, I heard all them niggas on SoundCloud 2015. So, I've been messing with Lil Yachty, but Lil Yachty always gave me a weird vibe. There's something about him. Like, 
I don't know. I don't I don't know what it is. I think he a cool dude. But I always get like a weird vibe from him, from his personality. Like, I don't know. But now I'm saying he best friends with Drake. This nigga got Drake painting his nails for Lil Yachty, bro. That's crazy, bro. For a criminal organization crazy. run by you. And this is where <coughs> the dumb part comes in. Because if all of this is true, you ain't need it. <coughs> You had a four hundred million dollar contract with Lucian. I guess you ain't want to be his slave anymore, right? Um, uh, right. I guess he ain't want to be Lucian's slave anymore. Shout out to Kanye West. Why did you have legitimate money and you put it out in the street? This gives you from the suburbs and don't even know what that life is about. Right. Listen, let's get into this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You're moving shaky. Listen, You're moving shaky. Drake is now trying to get sympathy. He's trying to say that. Uh, um, uh, he tried to say that uh, helicopters are flying over his house oh, and yeah, maybe a certain that. time. Drake, ain't nobody, let, this ain't the Jason Bourne identity. You're not that complicated. Why do you need to fly helicopters over the house? Don't you know that the real police got infrared shit? Oh, you don't live in America. Our police be invaded civil rights. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, Daniel Bogoslaw on Twitter said, does anyone know why Drake started this shell corporation called Silence Policy? Asking for a friend. Okay, they said Drake's silence policy show corporation raises questions. Okay, and a surprising move and a move surprising no one. Drake declined to comment on silent policy LLC. Again, Hunter Brooks said cracks knuckles, right? This is a tweet. Cracks knuckles, crack your knuckles. Drake appears to own an LLC called silence policy. He seems to own at least 20 other shell companies, according to information um, assembled, right? Some of Ali on Twitter said those NDAs don't write themselves. Now, why is that so important? Because I, far be it from me to suggest that Drake is using his legal money to run money laundering and a criminal organization and to run cover for his little thugs that are doing his bidding. Far be it for me to suggest that. I'm sure Drake is sitting there trying to figure out still how to do the, uh, uh, the running man, right? Or you think he's in there dancing to they not what 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 Drake right? <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. This is very important because if he was into that, and I'm saying he is, but if he was into that, this is how criminal organizations actually cover up. They get somebody that has some type of legal money, right? Uh and they use that to run covering. Go watch season one of the Ozarks if you want to try and find out what I'm doing. Also, kids that want to be hood so bad but ain't cut out for why would you be in the streets if you ain't have to? God. Anyway, they said Drake Silent Policy Shell Corporation raises questions. A dissolved corporation linked to Drake has sparked questions and theories from lawyers on social media as the rapper invest has a tumultuous week. On Tuesday, a drive-by shooting outside a Toronto property owned by Drake left a security guard hired by Drake badly injured. We now know from this investigative mm. reporter, Drake's security company is his thug friends that he got working for him. Chubbs is the only employee. That means all the people Chubbs hires are your little street friends. Right. None of right? niggas legit. Anyway, so they're going to do whatever dirty work Drake they really need to do. really is the real life Malibu's mo most wanted. If this is true. This is stupid. And why would you go so hard at Kendrick? Why would you create right. a beef with someone that you know knew all this about you? And Kendrick, when he started going, so he knew more than he said. Right. The first person that get caught lying in a rap battle lose. Drake, you lost 20 times over. But again, now that the genie's out the bag, he actually has to talk. Ain't ish been confirmed on Kendrick. Nobody can even be a shred of proof. Meanwhile, now we got the Shell Corporations. Now we got Canadian investigative reporters. Now we got for the third time in a week, there is an intruder at Drake's house. Y'all, they send an assassins for him a la John Wick, even though that last time might have been a setup to distract. And we'll talk about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... People want answers about unrelated screenshots of records showing Drake as a former head of the company called Silence Policy, um, which, uh, which were shared on Twitter by Daniel Boguslaw, B-O-G-U-S-L-A-W, an investigative reporter at the news outlet, The Intercept. 
Baby, you going down at the intercept is two seconds off your ASS. According to the screenshot, the company was incorporated in 2021, dissolved in 2023, and had a mailing and business address in West Los Angeles. Drake mm, was listed as the company's manager. Sharing the screenshots on Monday, uh, Daniel Bugleslaw wrote, does anyone know why? Uh, 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 uh. Listen, listen, it's it's odd. It is. They say cell corporations are called such because they usually don't have active business operations or significant assets, even if those who own them do. While they're often perceived as being used to facilitate illegitimate dealings due to the ability to obfuscate owners' business expenditure, many of these corporations are legally used. Legitimate reasons for using shell corporations include, but not limited to, startup businesses using the company as a vehicle to raise funds or go public or general, general confidentiality. Sorry. Such corps are used by everything from large conglomerates to private individuals. They sparked a discussion on the microblogging platform where many question why Drake's name would have been added to the company's list of information. Again, what is he trying to cover up? Even they know why you got 20 shell corporations. Where are your real corporations? They said, what kind of incompetent lawyer makes his client the, rec the recorded head of a shell corp? And <laughs> that was Heidi and more. She said, leaving a shell corp called silence policy in the public record with his full government name on it was an incredible move. I would simply have advised my client not to list himself as the sole officer of a Delaware registered LLC silence policy, but I'm built different. Um, Hunter, Me Hunter Brook Media, um, an open source investigation news outlet, shared a screenshot of other entities purportedly linked to Drake, adding that the rapper also seems to own at least 20 other shell companies. Hmm. Um, bah, 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 bah. One of the users on Reddit pointed out that the use of limited liability companies is common practice among celebrities. Yeah, but not 20 of them. And what are, what are the flow through businesses? That's the issue. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -mm -mm. I'm flipping through this. This is what we can skip through. They add in filler words. It makes no sentence. Yeah, that's the end of it. Drake's cooked. His kingdom's falling down. Kendrick knew more than what he was letting on. And now Drake is feeling right. literally baby pride. That nigga still got more ammo. Fall, and your ego, I guess, was worth everything. Listen, y'all, let me know what you think of the comments. I. Heck yeah, bro. That nigga Kendrick definitely knew more. And I like that, man. I like that. You know, he see what Drake is doing. Because usually people don't. You know, I guess other celebrities, they just keep it to themselves or whatever. But Kendrick really exposed everything, bro. Like, you know, at least to open up some doors. But Drake, bro, if you on that Diddy stuff, you know what I'm saying? I can't talk about Diddy and not talk about you, nigga. Simple. You know what I'm saying? If you, want, if you with that Diddy stuff, that weirdo, you know, behavior, you got to go. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Lock them up. Lock them up. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to, the more stuff come out, you know, I'm going to keep my eyes open and we're going to see what's going on. You feel me? Make sure y'all like the video for me. Make sure you subscribe. If you made it this long in the video, please go check out my second and third channel. It should be already on the screen, man. I'm out, man. I appreciate y'all as always. Peace.